Let's start things off today with peanut producers. They, along with their researchers and those promoting the crop, all discussed what's new at the 14th Southern Peanut Growers Conference in Panama City Beach, Florida recently. Rick Trepto made the trip. He has the story for us. In some areas, uh, there is more peanuts, some they're not, but the condition of the crop as a whole looks good. Peanuts not hurt too much yet because all my peanuts this year are irrigated. In the sessions, the attendees from Mississippi, Alabama, Florida, and Georgia learned important peanut industry issues remain unsolved. Farmers like Wes Shannon, the Georgia representative on the National Peanut Board and the Georgia Farm Bureau Peanut Commodity Committee chairman, said the outline of the House version of the new farm bill they got from House Ag Chairman Frank Lucas was encouraging. Uh, but the House bill uh, has some, some numbers in there for peanuts. It is something I think we can work with. And uh, I'm still optimistic we're going to come out with a peanut program that's, that's useful to the peanut grower. We need a good farm bill. But in our part of the state, we're having a lot of water problems. You know, and in fact, I'm drilling some new wells and we're having problems getting water. Uh, we had some problems getting permits and finally got them. But uh, I'm more concerned right now with the water issues. At a breakfast, the three 2012 Peanut Profitability Award winners were named. The Lower Southeast winner was from Florida for the first time. The family farm of Ross, James, and William Terry grow 160 of their 2,500 acres in peanuts. Some fields made 7,200 pounds per acre last year, a major feat since the farm uses no irrigation. The good Lord just blessed us. <laughs> he said we need rain. Peanuts is a crop. I kind of think sometimes people to irrigate do way too much irrigation because they can't make but 5,000, 5,300 pounds an acre off of irrigation. Why you waste all the extra water? Peanuts only need water at a couple of times critically. If they can get the water at that critically time, they'll make peanuts. Terry Farms also runs tight on capital investments like tractors. Our oldest tractor is about uh, 12, 14 years old. <coughs> that is the newest of the oldest. And the oldest tractor is 40 years old and it still runs and gives us good service and we have no trouble with it. So why, why, why get away from it? Peanut research is a major tool for a successful industry. University of Georgia peanut agronomist John Beasley says they've noted more insect pressure, but it's normal through August. In fact, we're starting to see a little build up in three-cornered alfalfa hopper, uh, tobacco budworm, corn ear worms now that corn harvest has commenced. So we've had a little bit of insect pressure. Uh, disease is our biggest concern. Weed control, in my opinion, has been phenomenal. It looks just great. Most growers have got really great weed control at this point in time. The Peanut Institute's Pat Kearney said they need good research to prove anything they say about peanuts. So we have now over 15 to 16 years of research, dozens of studies looking in various areas to show that peanuts and peanut butter are extremely healthy. New research, according to Kearney, proves peanuts have vitamin E and magnesium to help in the battle against diabetes. And if you eat peanuts just for a few weeks or about a month, your magnesium levels will come up to normal. And the research also shows we only need to eat a small amount of peanut butter, but it is best to eat it daily. A handful of the day keeps the doctor away, keeps you young and, and healthy. It's a very, very good way to go for all age groups. The conference did set aside some family time. Everyone mostly enjoyed the beaches of the Gulf of Mexico. I'm Rick Trepto for the Georgia Farm Monitor.